here we are creeping up on the fiends in their natural habitat. We equip our rifle to be safe and find we've discovered Bonnie Springs named after its owner Bonnie Springs who happened to blow the whole town up. Oh, the Viper's not and this guy's face, by the way, looks super like this guy didn't win the gene lottery. Oh my gosh, that was disgusting. Vipers, not not fiends. My bad. So there's a cup. Ooh, I forgot about that guy. Tossing those nades. Oh, it's this person. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> He's crippled, no doubt about that. Oh man, somebody blowing us up over there. My goodness, I need to take these prickly pear fruits. What I need to do? I don't know where I got all this garbage from. Drop that, and then guess a couple of them's. One of those. Oh. Alright, is that it? I think so, mate. I think so. So we get love and hate, which is the unique uh, spike knuckles or whatever the heck. And it's really good. And then we'll get some metal armor reinforced, which we'll use on ourselves to repair our own armor. Uh, and we're taking all that other garbage because we'll actually run into a vendor here. So. Boom. Here we actually will have a couple more sunset star caps. Ugh. I don't know if there's any in here, but I think probably that's it. And then there might be one over here, but I don't think so. Yeah, no, I think that's it. So now we're headed over yonder to the Red Rock Canyon. Try to steer clear of these big hornets over the air so they don't try to kill us. Because they've done nothing wrong. You know, they're nice. Look at those guys. A little baby one. Okay. Okay. This building has the vendor in the basement. So we'll sell a few of our things to it and maybe pick up a little bit of ammo. Just a little bit. This is like the second or third best vendor in terms of like getting ammo and stuff like that. I think they usually have quite a bit. I'm not sure what their energy weapon supply is like though. They tell me I'm supposed to sell you weapons. Okay, let's take a look. So they got a decent amount of that. A lot of that will take for a boy, for a boy. Um, energy cells, I guess. And then let's see if we can make that up. I doubt it, but laser RCW. Well, give two. Um. 
Oh yeah, we can make it up easy. Get rid of that. Um. All right. Another satisfied customer. Later. Oh, workbench. More stim packs. There we go. Now we walk in. Walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in, walk. This is another quest line that I don't do that often, so I always get sort of confused about the process of doing it because it's kind of boring in my opinion. But we're just kind of doing this so that when the time comes to complete the main quest, we'll do it super quickly. All we'll have to do is fast travel here to the boomers, to the brother to steal, and say, hey, are you going to back us up during the last fight? And they'll be like, you've done a lot for us, so yeah, sure, we'll back you up. Even though we don't really like the NCR, I'm pretty sure we're siding with the NCR, we got your back. And then we'll run a train on uh, on the Legion to battle Hoover Dam. Hmm, I always forget how to start this one. I think we go in here first. And I think... I don't know, let's just talk to everybody. My name is oh yeah, he's an emissary. Talk to this homie. I haven't seen you. I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point because Papa's in charge now. Papa is one of the best leaders the cons have. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the ends. Nothing. Hmm. Huh, I wonder if the Zag's actually pointing us to somebody. Well, it is. I don't know. Maybe we'll go back there and try it again. I don't know. It's annoying. Um... Take a look at Carl's journal over here. Mm -hmm. 
Reconstituting entry, savage rivers, customs, and several points. He waxes philosophical. I wonder if that'll give us any dialogue options over here. Uh, something else you wanted? Ah, oh, what the heck, man? Greetings in the name of Kaiser. I do not know anything about this quest line. I heard you oh. Right, you have to leave. You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. If you can convince all of us that ally with I have my doubts about Caesar, yes, but I've heard rumors. Tribes who aligned with you'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since ah, Melissa. Personally, I've never seen you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we'll see what dialogue options we have. Let me see that. Great cons. Drive Caesar's. Hey. How many turns? Uh, whatever. We'll take him out. I want to see if he'd turn into an enemy for us. <laughs> it's all lighting him up. All right, let's talk to him. I'm beginning to hear troubling rumor. All right, so that's not the end of it, I guess. Let's talk to him. Okay. Um. Oh, Melissa's way over there, right? She's at the Great Con Encampment, which we have to fight through some death, cla death claws to get to. Which, now that we have our uh, compliance regulator, isn't actually that big of a deal at all. Because we'll just paralyze them. And especially if Rao had his survivalist's rifle. But, I don't know, maybe he doesn't. I don't know what happened with that. I'll have to do some investigation, but I'm pretty sure I've also had that happen to me. I think that's just a thing that happens. Maybe it's something to do with entering the casinos. Hey, look who it is, bring the Huh? Sure. Cool. That was simple. Okay, getting here is always a little confusing. So, let me take a look at the map quick. Because normally it kind of... The way a lot of people try to enter this place, I did a video, it's private, I don't know my channel now, but I did a video a long time ago explaining how to get there, and most people try to get there through the, um, like through the, whatchamacallit, uh, Quarry Junction, but that'll get you a heck of a lot of nowhere. See some Cazadors over here. Cool. 
Man, there's a lot of them. Another one somewhere, isn't there? Well, let's get this on in case. Maybe you do have to come more back this way, I always forget. Like I said, I barely ever do this great con quest line, it's not the most entertaining. I think these things on our radar are death claws. At least they should be, because there are death claws towards this towards this um Great Con Encampment, since it is by the Quarry Junction. That's a vault right there, so this definitely 100% is the right direction. I'm going to go discover the vault. Yeah, you need to go up there to get to the Great Con Encampment. Ooh, he saw me, didn't he? I don't know. But we'll put this on. Oh, Shire. Discover it right quick over here. I think that's the one that I mentioned earlier, like in one of the first very couple episodes about the powder gangers being there and inhabiting that vault. There's a little quest you can do there if that is the right one in mind, but it's not the most entertaining quest. It's like some mines or something that you have to blow up. I mean, I think it's just full of golden geckos. There's actually an alternate start mod that lets you spawn in there. And now there's like these weird like blue and red key card pass things. Oh, nice with these crits. Oh. Uh, knocking these guys out, but the problem is, uh, it's too many, so by the time one's knocked out, the, oh my goodness. Look at these guys tumbling, oh my gosh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Nice job, Raul, with your little pistol. Definitely would have been a lot easier if he kept his survivalist rifle or his riot shotgun. Pretty sure I already dropped the save there, but just in case. Ain't even hard. My old video for this, for finding this location, was actually hilarious because uh, at the very end of it, when I find the great cons, I also get found by some death claws. So like the great or the death claws show up and kill all the great cons actually right when I cut the video. 
But oh right, it's right by that crane. That's how you that's how you know you're heading in the right direction. I think you gotta stick to the right of these white rocks when you see the crane. I think that's the trick. Looks like we're home free though. Drop the save. That's close enough. Wait. You can ask, but why would I do what? Cool. Hopefully that's it. Ah, uh, jerk is sleeping. Oh, here we are. Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. If you should ever tire wandering alone, seek us out. Cool. There we go. It's always a pleasure. Hello. The great cons are out of the picture. Now, we'll hit the strip one more freaking time. We'll equip that as our quest. And we'll see if this arrow is actually pointing to anybody to talk to specifically. I really freaking think it should be that front desk lady, I swear. And if it isn't, and if he's not there, then screw it. I'll think of something else to do. Oh, one thing we could do is go to Vault 34. We could give Raul the All-American. That can be his new weapon. If he doesn't get rid of it. Hey, no. oh, it looks like it is pointing to somebody. I wonder if it's pointing directly to Kachino. Because it's in that direction. Oh, I think that's Kachino. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! <laughs> the easiest thing to do here is pickpocket his journal. This is too. This is too funny. We're just gonna do the cheese ball way. Okay, so we found it. Like we buried the pickpocket first try.
can pay you. Between you and I, we can break up with it. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. The boss, they also brought in a specialist named Flanding. I got no fucking idea. It's a little arrogant. It's too nice. Too open. I've never seen a fucking a gambler. Everyone has a Cool. So uh, actually that'll be it for this time. Next time we'll be uh, finding out more about what's going on here with all these Omertas, freaking uh, gangsters.